Hello, my friend. Today we are going to try and put an Oreo in resin. I saw someone else do it on another video, so I do believe that it is possible, but I've never actually tried to do it myself. So I've got here a package of Oreos, yummy. And I've also got my Unicone Art Resin. I really enjoy this stuff. It usually uh, hardens pretty quickly and it's usually super clear. So we're going to use about two ounces, uh, one ounce per each, the resin and the hardener. And then we're going to use this awesome mold that I got off of Amazon. And of course, I will put links down in the description below, uh, except for the Oreos. I mean, just go to a, a little gas station or store. I'm sure they'll be able to find some. I got these from a coworker. So uh, we will put it in the resin and we will see what happens. Hopefully it won't disintegrate. I mixed the resin for five minutes. Uh, I think each resin brand has a different number of minutes depending on what exactly they do. Uh, this one happens to be three to five minutes. I went the extra mile just because. So now I'm gonna open up the cookies. I just need to clear the edges, make sure there's no added crumbs that we don't want. <gasps> well, that, that got rid of some crumbs. That's okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. It is just a practice cookie. <laughs> oh, the cookie smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna put a little resin in first. Then we gotta put some on the top of the Oreo. I think it's to prevent bubbles. I'm gonna spread it around. Then we gotta, then we gotta put a little bit in the crack of the cookie. This is harder than it looks. All right, it's in the resin. Huzzah. Okay. It doesn't look like I really needed as much resin as I used, but again, it's a practice. We'll see how it turns out now. I guess we just play the waiting game. I'm gonna try and get out all the little bubbles that I can, maybe push that down a little bit. Now I can hear what you're saying in your heads, you know, maybe you should have let the first layer, you know, dry, but that's not what that other person did in their video. So that's what I'm trying to recreate, although, doesn't look like, I don't think his floated up to the surface at all, but I think I used more resin too, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, and uh, I'll get back to you when it dries. Okay, my friend, so I have a quick little update. The one cookie was not uh, staying where I needed it to. It keeps rising to the surface, so I got a little frustrated with it. I did a couple little things, and now it's not here anymore. It's here. Um, I tried to remove some of the resin from it to see if that would help. I thought maybe I used too much. So then I mixed some more. Uh, this one over here only has a half 
uh, sorry, uh, half the amount of resin, so one ounce of resin. I did it the exact same way, and it still rose to the surface. So with this one here, I had a little bit left over um, from when I transferred the resin, you know, very stupidly and messily into here. Um, so I kind of added a little bit more, did the outside of the cookie like we did with the others, and then plopped it in, but did not put resin on top of it. And it seems to be pretty stationary. It's not rising to the surface. Uh, it does seem to get a few more bubbles than the others, but like I said, it's all trial and error, um, and we'll have to just see which way works best. It has been 24 hours since I started the experiment, and my resin has cured, at least enough for me to take the samples out of the tray. You may notice that there is a fourth Oreo here. Uh, after my brief update, I realized that the Oreos were still rising to the surface. So I came up with an idea to, of course, do the first layer, let it harden a little bit, and then put the top layer on. So what I did was I only mixed one ounce of resin and I put uh, the half of it was in first. I did the one side of the Oreo and the crevice like we did for the one on film and then I plopped it in and I put it in the center as much as possible and then I did not put a layer of resin over it. I waited six hours for it to cure a little bit and once I added in the other layer it did not rise to the surface. So I definitely found the proper formula for my resin and the only issue I can see right now is a big bubble on the side there. So without any further ado, I'm going to pull them out of the casing and we shall see exactly how these turned out. This one is technically the first one that we did. And that came out really easily. That is so cool. I wish it was in the center of the Oreo, but the fact that it rose to the top is not necessarily terrible. I did get another drip when I was mixing this resin in here. Um, so that's a bummer, but that's pretty cool. There's a lot of bubbles there though. Neat. Okay, <clears throat> this one was attempt number two. Same basic result, just half the resin, which makes sense since this one was half the resin, but the exact same process. It's still so cool though. A lot of bubbles. But only on the actual Oreo, like not in the resin itself. This was my third attempt, almost a success. Um, it kept rising to the surface. I kept pushing it down and readjusting it, which caused this bubble thing here. So my bad. I just could not keep myself from touching it. Oh, it made it almost into the center. A lot of bubbles inside. Can I see bubbles in these? Yeah, a couple. Cool. All right. Now this is the better bet. This is the, the best, I think, so far. Let's see how it turned out. All right, this one is definitely at the bottom. So maybe when I try this again, I'm going to put in more resin in the base and then put this on there. Maybe it'll sink to the bottom, maybe not. I'll try it a couple different ways. 
but we're going in the right direction. It's very exciting. I will tell you why it's exciting. I've got a Mew Oreo. Can you see it? I love him. He's so cute. So I want to encase him in resin and keep him forever. So experiment one is not a complete success, but I'm heading in the right direction. Now I've got these cool Oreo coffee, uh, hockey pucks to play with. And hopefully I will come back at you with the finished Mew Oreo soon. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a magical day.